today we're going to be putting an exhaust on a GMC Canyon or a Colorado, I forget which, 2016. We got Tasha out here taking some pictures of the little babies for her seven month pictures. And she'll be pretty excited. She seems like she likes it out here. We did uh, jump the shit box today so we can let it run a little bit and get a little bit of charge in that freaking battery just so we don't have to replace the $200 battery. I mean, I guess I could go back to AutoZone and just exchange it. Ah, copyright music. I forgot that's playing. Um, we got all this cardboard loaded up from the dining room set and the patio set. We're going to dump that in the dumpsters back there on the construction site because, I mean, big boxes when you move in, they just tell you to go throw them back there. And, oh, we did spread that grass seed stuff over here, too. Just so we can do, like, I don't know. I guess we're just doing, like, a little intro. We're about to move the truck over just a little bit. And then we're going to move the Challenger out of the garage. Because, obviously, we can't put an exhaust on with uh, the Challenger sitting right there. So, we'll see you in a minute. All right. So, got our Colorado here. Like I was telling you guys about earlier, it is Colorado, not a canyon. I couldn't remember for sure. So... We got our pieces right here. We're doing the tip piece. I thought this was a freaking downpipe because I'm stupid. We got a little reducer and this is the over the axle part and there's where the secondary O2 goes. Since it is a Duramax, it's got about 4,000 sensors that go on the exhaust. Um, pretty clean little truck. Pretty much the same as ours, just it's a Colorado with a diesel instead of the 3.6. So we do have to cut about three inches back we've got the destructions right here so we can you know not fuck it up so it says just to cut three inches behind the post o2 or the secondary o2 and pretty much it's just a bolt-on system and we got some clamps so we got three clamps we got the reducer reducer and then the other other pipe and the other pipe there might be one too many clamps huh one two three yeah three clamps i think is all we need as far as i know i don't know what the other clamp will be for hmm. all right but yeah for now we're going to cut the factory stuff off where we need to by that post o2 and go from there and we're going to kind of mock everything up we can always cut more off we can't add it back on so we'll be careful All right, folks, here we go. We already got the uh, upper O2 sensor out of the way and in a baggie so we don't mess that up because them freaking things are expensive. So, here we go.
very, very top. I just can't quite reach it because it goes up yeah. in the DPF, so I have to cut crooked. I'm not a huge fan of sawzalls. <laughs> All right, we got the rear section out. Hopefully this isn't a time lapse. All right, rear section is out. The reducer goes on to this end of it right here. So we can get it onto this pipe. <coughs> I'm gonna reinstall the O2. And there's your rear section there. It's gonna look a lot cleaner. I don't know why they make these tips like this. Literally, they just like, I don't even know what to do with that. They just weld it on and there's just, no. this is where the tip stops, the exhaust pipe. And then this is literally just a tip, you know? Like they can't just bring this pipe all the way out to here and let you bolt on a tip like that one. Yeah. I don't understand it, but making some pretty good progress. Taking a little bit longer than I thought it was going to just because we wanted to make sure I got all the right stuff and <laughs> Well, I mean, comparison-wise on diameter, she's a little bigger. So we're gonna mock up this piece right here real quick just to make sure. Looks like it's gonna work pretty good. This piece goes on the back of the DPF like, oh, now I can't get it back on, like that. This piece goes into there like that and clamp on and go. So. We're about to throw everything underneath the truck, run the, I'm glad this is two separate pieces. It's gonna be a lot easier to put in for sure. Just cause we'll be able to mount the rear piece last and we won't have to fight this whole long piece of crap to get up over the axle and everything. So we're gonna mount this first with this in there to the DPF, some clamps. And we're gonna put the O2 sensor back in and then we're gonna put this piece back, this piece on there, which if this is all mounted and everything, loosely, this should go on there pretty well, but I'm gonna take a bathroom break. We'll be right back. All right, we are done. Fixing to do a startup on the truck. See if it sounds any different. Probably a little bit. Glow plugs. Hear that old diesel up there, that's it. Well, don't sound much different. Let's go up underneath real quick and show you what we did. So, we clamped it on here, clamped it on here. Everything's tight. And then we went up and over, O2 sensors back in up there and there's a clamp back here. And then we got the pipe going out. Oop, let me get some light. There you go. We got that pipe going out. Perfect. Ugh. Compared to the other tip, that looks so much better. So 
So it's a little magnet flow system. Basically what you would call cat back, I guess, on a gasser. Um, but that's the old shit. New shit's on. I think it's a pretty good day. Not too much, no problems that we ran into at all. Got an extra clamp. And I think we're just gonna call it a day from there. And like I said in the other video, we picked up the cornhole boards yesterday. We're gonna do something with them. I don't know yet. Try some stickers. So we're gonna grab all our shit out from underneath the truck. Make sure we're not running over anything. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. We will see you in the next one. Like, share, subscribe, guys, for more action like this.